almost any electronic circuit from simple transistor-based circuits and operational amplifiers to compact digital and multi-processor systems require one or more uninterruptible power supplies for their work. Until recently, such units were based on Zener diodes and transistors. The total number of elements and regulators was quite inefficient, especially if it was required to adjust the output voltage of a load protection and short circuit, the output current limiting at a given level. Specialized chips have changed the situation. Modern voltage regulator chips are available in a wide range of output voltages and currents. They have built-in protection from current overload and overheating. When the chip crystal heats up above the allowable temperature, the chip closes and limits the output current. As a rule, a bipolar or a field effect transistor is the control element of an integrated circuit. Is. If the transistor operates in active mode, the regulator is called linear or continuous, and if the control transistor operates in switching mode, the regulator is called pulse. Today we will tell you about linear voltage regulators. Power supply circuits belong to the so-called smart power devices, that is, to those which in addition to power transistors have control circuits on the chip crystal. Since the time the first integral regulator MA723 was made, regulators have come a long way of development. Their range is wide and varied. Industry produces fixed voltage regulators from 1 to 27 volt positive voltage L7805BB KR1158EM15B negative 7918ER1162EN24A and adjustable regulators LM317EN22A. Voltage regulators also range in power. LP2980 model has load current 1 mA, while KR142EN22A has up to 7.5 mA. Physical embodiment of the chips is also different. For example, 78 series chips are produced in TO3, TO220, TO224 pack. TO92 D2 pack D pack cases. It should be noted that they differ in power. The progress of energy saving technologies has led to strengthening requirements for such characteristics as direct voltage input output. The first generation of regulators, for example, the well known 78 series as the and their analogs, have minimum voltage drops about 3 volts. For circuits powered by chemical current sources, it's too much. Minimum voltage drop of the next generation of regulators, the so-called low draw, doesn't exceed 6 tenths, one and a half volt, depending on the power. For example, three terminal low power voltage regulators of 1170EN type operate and minimum voltage drop input output 6 tenth volt. Other examples are ARU1117, LT1085, KR1158, EM3V. Further reduction of the minimum voltage drop on the regulator can be achieved using more advanced mobile or bipolar transistor as an output one. For example, the regulator 2980 has minimum forward voltage 120 mV at current 50 mA and 7 mV at load current 1 mA. Increased range of battery-powered devices requires further enhance of their efficiency. Many units of measurement devices, communication devices, and so on, should be powered only from time to time. In this case, at non-working intervals, power voltage should be reduced to zero. To do this, some models of integrated circuits and regulators are equipped with shutdown outlets. Active logic levels are supplied to the outlets, which causes forced shutting of the control transistor. The examples are ADP series by analog device. ADP is 3367 with minimum forward voltage input output 150 millivolt at current 200 mA. When you choose a regulator, you should also pay attention to such important characteristics as accuracy in setting the output voltage, stabilization coefficient, temperature coefficient of voltage, ripple suppression coefficient, working temperature range, permissible range of input voltage, maximum allowable load current, maximum allowable power dissipation, current consumed by the regulator in idle mode, often called leakage currents and others. We have a wide range of voltage regulator circuits, and you can always find more information on them on our website.